There are several algorithms designed to implement constraint propagation. The most popular one is AC3, which stands for R consistency 3. It repeatedly checks pair of variables and removes inconsistent values from their domain. There is another algorithm AC4, which is a more efficient variant of AC3. Hello all. Welcome or welcome back to Being Passionate Learner. In this video, we will explore constraint propagation in constraint satisfaction problems or CSPs. Contents. In this video, we will first introduce constraint propagation, discuss R consistency and example of R consistency. Then we will discuss the key algorithms used and some real world applications. We will conclude with advantages and limitations of constraint propagation. Let us start with introduction to constraint propagation. Constraint propagation is a key technique in solving constraint satisfaction problems or CSPs. Constraint propagation helps by narrowing down the possible values for variables. It makes easy to solve problems efficiently. The idea is to enforce consistency by eliminating values from the domain of variables that can no longer be part of a solution. Arc consistency. Arc consistency is a key concept in constraint propagation. A variable is considered arc consistent if every value in its domain has a corresponding valid values in the domain of its related variables. A CSP is arc consistent if all variables are arc consistent. For instance, in Sudoku, each number in a row must be consistent with the other numbers in that row. Arc consistency example. In this example, we have two variables x and y. The domain for each variable is a set of values 1, 2, 3. The constraint between these variables is that x is not equals to y. That means x and y cannot have the same value. Initially, both x and y have the domain 1, 2, 3. However, due to the constraint x is not equals to y, some values must be pruned to ensure consistency. For x to be arc consistent with y, each value in x domain must have a corresponding values in y's domain that satisfies the constraint. If x is equals to 1, then y is not equals to 1. So, y can only take values 2, 3. If x is equals to 2, then y is not equals to 2. So, y can take values 1, 3. If x is equals to 3, then y is not equals to 3, so y can take values 1, 2. Similarly, for y to be arc consistent with x, if y is equals to 1, then x is not equals to 1, x can only take values 2, 3. If y is equals to 2, then x is not equals to 2, so x can take values 1, 3. If y is equals to 3, then x is not equals to 3. So, x can take values 1, 2. After applying the constraint, the domains of x and y are updated. x domain remains 1, 2, 3 as values in its domain has a corresponding valid values in y's domain. y's domain also remains 1, 2, 3 for the same reason. The arc is consistent and no further pruning is required for this constraint. Constraint propagation algorithms. There are several algorithms designed to implement constraint propagation. The most popular one is AC3, which stands for R consistency 3. It repeatedly checks pair of variables and removes inconsistent values from their domain. There is another algorithm AC4, which is a more efficient variant of AC3. There are also general techniques like forward checking and look ahead for constant propagation. 
The AC3 algorithm starts by initializing a queue with all the arcs in the problem. For each arc, it checks if any values in the domain of a one variable are inconsistent with the other variable's domain. If a change is made, the algorithm rechecks the affected arcs until no more changes are needed. Applications of constraint propagation Constraint propagation is widely used in real world applications such as scheduling and resource allocation. In puzzles like Sudoku and crosswords, constraint propagation helps to prune possibilities and allows us to solve problem faster. It is also a key technique in AI planning systems where multiple constraints must be considered to generate a feasible plan. Advantages of constraint propagation The main advantage of constraint propagation is that it reduces the search space, making problem solving more efficient. By identifying contradictions early, we can avoid wasting time on invalid solutions. In some cases, constraint propagation alone is sufficient to solve the problems without need for backtracking. Limitations of constraint propagation Constraint propagation is not perfect. For large or highly complex problems, it often needs to be combined with other techniques like backtracking. Additionally, it incurs computational overheads as it constantly maintains consistency between variables. Constraint propagation is limited in solving non-binary constraints without specialized algorithms. With this, we have reached to end of this video. Thank you for watching this video till end. See you in my next video. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.